Good afternoon and welcome to our channel, theladiesnews.com. Today we are going to reveal some of the extraordinary news that was going through around the world. Please watch the video till the end and get all the latest updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. The worst year for Indian aviation in six years since the beginning of 2019, air passenger traffic started slipping, but the real trouble started when Jet Airways went out of business in April. It led to sudden vacuum in capacity which meant higher airfares. Is the Indian aviation sector heading for its worst year in the past six years? Recent number from the Directorate General of Civil Aviation show that domestic air passenger growth was just 3.15% in the first seven months of 2019. That's just a fraction of the 21.8% growth achieved during the same period of 2018. The weak consumer sentiments, capacity correction after the fall of jet airways and high air fares have contributed to the subdued air passenger traffic. Since the beginning of 2019, air passenger traffic started slipping, but the real trouble started when jet airways went out of business in April. It led to sudden vacuum in capacity, which meant higher air fares. Though rival carriers like Indigo, SpiceJet, and Vistra were quick to fill the vacuum, the current capacity, as experts point out, is more sustainable. But it's not going to last long as airlines have drawn out aggressive capacity addition plans for the future. Indigo, for instance, has planned to increase capacity by 30% in the 2019 and 2020, which means the airline will add 65 aircraft in the current financial year. Similarly, SpiceJet has plans to inject 35 planes during 2019 and 20. The overcapacity condoms, which got corrected by jet shutdown, is expected to make a comeback in the sector and the will force airlines to bring down fares to fill those extra seats in a mad rush to keep their PLS high. Airlines might be heading for profitless growth from the fourth quarter onwards. This is in sharp contrast to the record profit run Indigo and SpaceJet. In the first quarter of 2019 and 20, Indigo reported net profit of rupees 1203 crore and spice jet rupees 262 crore aviation aviation veterans said domestic players haven't learned from the past mistakes overcapacity took the life of kingfisher airlines in 2012 and jet but all airlines are still chasing market sharp by adding more capacity than required Prior to the jet shutdown, the sector was dealing with overcapacity that pulled down fares and pumped up the air travel. For instance, domestic passenger traffic growth in 2016, 2017, and 2018 stood at 18.6 percent, 17.3 percent, and 23.18 percent, primarily supported by low airfares and the government's push to making flying affordable through UDAAN scheme. But unlike the last time, lower affairs might not result in high air passenger growth, primarily due to weak consumer sentiments across the economy. There's a FUD factor that is affecting every spending decisions of consumers today, be it purchase of FMCG or consumer durables, a car or air tickets. A recent statement by Civil Aviation Minister Hardeep Singh Puri shows that even the ambitious UDAN scheme has largely been unsuccessful out of 705 routes awarded under the scheme, just 174 have become operational till date. Hence, incremental passenger growth from UDAN is expected to be slow. It is likely that growth in domestic aviation might be lower than the industry benchmark. Globally, the typical aviation growth rate is about two twice the GDP growth. If the Indian economy is expected to grow at 6.9% in 2019 and 2020, aviation would grow at 14%, but there are no signs that passenger growth would even cross 10% mark for the whole year in the backdrop of several unfavorable factors. 